Okay, hello guys. This is going to be another video on my channel. This is going to be something I haven't quite done in the past before. So, what I'm doing here is I'm going to be saying how to beat the tutorial of Wackfu. Basically, I saw a lot of people having trouble with this. I went into the tutorial world and literally everyone couldn't beat it, and I know why. It's filled with glitches. So I'm just going to go over this. Would you like to do the tutorial? Yes. First of all, you may only choose one character. You know, this person. But don't worry about that. This is just the character that has no abilities or anything. So don't even bother with customization yet. Just go with some generic character name. Uh, I'll go with the name. Uh, Yuki. There we go. That better not be taken. Too many identical letters. Yuki. Three letters. There are a lot of people that have three consecutive letters in their name. Yuki Kamito. Yuki Kamito. I'm just putting names together at this point. Now, once you get into the tutorial, you will be lagging apparently. There we go. To the tutorial. I might as well tutorialize, I guess, if you're having trouble with the tutorial. To move around, click there. Very simple. This part of the tutorial, no issues, it's very simple, but I will go over the basic everything in this tutorial just in case, you know, you don't want to read all of this junk. Okay, so let's get on to this. As you can see, there is indeed a rabbit, and he's basically saying fight the rabbit. So I right click on him, this brings up the actions I can do on him. For this rabbit, all I can do is attack. The fight has begun. Now, you just move a certain amount of tiles, and here are your moves. So, I'm going to go here, because he can only move three tiles, so he can't move into a range where he can hit me. And, I can't end my turn. Oh, great, it's, yeah, it's pointing out I have movement points. And now I can end my turn. Not in a strategic way, which saddens me, but oh well. And now this, as you can see, is F. Your left and right hand are F and control F. I believe it's your left hand that's F, but for some reason you do a good left hook. Not bad for a newbie. So this is just your quick bar. That's the basic of that. Now this is a bit more of a difficult fight that the bear tries to explain and is a little annoying about. So let's go on to fighting the rabbit. I'm going to position myself right in front of him. Actually it's his turn first. I'll stand here. A little bit of strategic moving which people get after a while. Now he's given me a move called Command of Earth. It's a melee magic type move, and this is going to be the first time you get a magic move, which is pretty exciting for most people. So doing damage from the sides and back does do more damage than hitting him from the front. That is what you'd expect from fighting in general. In that regard, this game is quite good at interpreting that. It's quite encouraging to move to enemy sides. However, later in the game you'll be introduced to locking and things like that. Which are a pain in the butt. It basically means someone if someone's lock skill is very high and they click the lock button when they're in combat with you, you have to have really high dodge to get away from them. So it's hard to get away from them. It's not the dodging in which you would think, you know, in that they dodge an attack. No, it's they dodge you and they get away from you so that they can do some ranged attacks. Yeah, yeah, I know I have talent. Now may I please get to the real tutorial. I love how this tutorial is so glitchy that I need to do a tutorial on it. Now, the reason I'm doing this. Firstly, you have to go talk to this guy. Just get it done. He basically tells you, hey man, go get some DNA from the rabbits. So you'll go down to this garden down here, talk to, the, well, right click on the rabbits and harvest their DNA. Harvest as many as it says. So. You know, I believe he said three. Yes, harvest three wooden seeds. And now I have three wooden seeds. Here is the issue. A lot of people couldn't plant. I don't know if this is yet. Yep, there isn't enough space for you to plant, even though it says you can plant. Now, what do you do to fix this issue? You might be able to plant in places like this, but it wouldn't work for me in that area I was in at one point. Exactly, area is full. This is very clearly empty. There are no plants for, like, miles of there. Now, if you want to get around this glitch, I recommend you go all the way down here. Just follow this fence. You'll eventually get to this area that's nice and clean. 
go plant here. It's the only area I could ever find within half an hour that worked. So just plant, you know, plant three wooden seeds like the game tells you to, and you'll be fine. It's really annoying. There are no things in the quest saying, hey, you can only plant in this specific area. You're supposed to plant anywhere in the garden, and the game even tells you that you can. What these do, by the way, is because you harvested from wooden's DNA, you're planting wooden's basically, and the mob will grow. The reason that is helpful is because you can farm them. You can kill them, get their loot drops later in the game, and it's really helpful. It's really quite a neat little mechanic that most games don't do. Hello, Yuki Kamutu. Kamitu. I'm Wolf Ramda, blah blah blah. Actually, I didn't want anything. Whatever. The free three members of the Wabbit family. Okay. I forgot about this part. Just kill three rabbits and you're done. It's exactly what you'd expect. Very simple. Walk up to the rabbit, punch it across its silly little face. I guess I maybe should have done my magic move, but I don't think I can kill him in one hit anyway. There's no difference between, you know, 7 damage and 6 damage if he has 10 health. So let's just fight this quickly. If it gets to longer issues, I might do cuts, but I really don't think anything in this tutorial is long enough to merit that. Let's do my move. I was clicking 2 instead of 1, I don't know why I always do that. And get this down, nice and fast, oh seriously, he survived that hit. Punch him across his silly little rabbit face. Fight experience. Da -da -da. And I'm now level 2. Every time you win a game, now I'll show you this, you get to see your level, things like that. If you go to your spells, it shows you your spells individually level up. It's quite neat. If this game wasn't so paper monthly, I would completely adore it and play it every day, basically. I seriously do think this is awesome. Now, let me actually kill the rabbit. Uh, I think loot drops are actually a thing here too. I haven't been paying attention to loot drops because who cares about the drops you get from the tutorial zone? They are worth nothing. No one will ever give you a cent for it. Unless they are a madman. There we go. Nice and cleared. Okay, there's my XP bar at the top. Now let's go back and talk to Wolfram. I believe that's the next part. Uh, oh right, no, I have to distribute one skill point. To do that, click P or click on here. Display abilities. And now here's all the abilities. If you want a quick rundown, I'll give it to you. Percent HP. It increases your max HP. Very simple. Resistances. Increases your resistances to elemental damage. Very helpful. Resistant. Regeneration according to missing HP. I don't like that it's based on missing HP, but it's a very good skill. Say you have like one health out of 10,000, you would regen an enormous amount. But if you only had one health missing, you might regen one health, but you might not even be able to do that just because it's based on the amount you have missing. Heals received. So basically, if you have a healer in your party, which I actually play, their heals will do more. Send lifesteal. When you attack someone, you get lifesteal. It might be when you kill someone. I haven't tested the skill. It's one or the other. So I'm going to do resistances because I'm a healer. I want to be a little tanky. I'll go over some of these. This is all, well, this is all basic. All of these ones over here, the top four. Is it four or five? It's four. All the top four increase your all of your damages and give you resistance to one element. Pretty basic. The next, increase your resistances to any of the four elements and increase your health. Very basic. Lock. Increases your capability of locking a, a, an enemy in place. If they move away, they lose action points, which means they don't get to fight as much. Super helpful if you're a fighter. Dodge. If you do, don't want the locking to happen to you, invest in dodge. Initiative. Chance to go first in combat. Dodge and lock. It's just dodge and lock put together. Multi-target lock. You can lock multiple enemies. Berserk dodge. If you are below 50% of your max HP, your dodge goes up exponentially, even more than normal dodge. It's helpful to go with dodge, just by the way. And this is the last piece I'll cover because I don't know enough about Major to cover that. Critical hits. You can expect... well, all of these are actually pretty basic. If you hit someone from behind, do more damage from behind. Critical damage, all that sort of stuff. Pretty basic. Let's talk to Wolf around now. I've successfully blah blah blah. Now he tells you, collect three seeds from the Crozzalily flowers. This is bull. I'll collect a flower and you will see... No progress. Well, I guess you won't be able to tell. Now, a lot of people got frustrated at this. I actually can see a lot of people are actually helping in the way that I was. I actually spent two hours here just helping people get through this because this is really glitchy. 
And I'm really happy about that. Now, the reason you're not getting the lily plants that you're looking for, you have to find disembodied crusher lily flowers. Did they tell you that? No, they did not. Out of BS, man. See, and now the zero went to one, so that is working. So you just need to look for disembodied flowers. Here's another. And there is two more down here. I'll just take one, because I want other people to find them as well. You can see I'm making them very small. Okay, so that is the second part that is really glitchy to get past. After this, everything's basic, but I want to cover the whole tutorial if I'm going to do this part, not just the glitchy part. Sure, this is mainly to get past the glitch, but sure. Yes, calm down, man. Okay, now, once you want to go to the next area, just go this way. Now, something I'm going to cover right now, because a lot of people never figure this out, it's very helpful. If you want to get to your quests, double click on, you know, this exclamation, well, this question mark. It won't work here because I'm in the tutorial, which is annoying, but it'll bring up a little quest log, and there's going to be a little plus sign kind of thing on the right of your each quest. Click that if you want to track the quest. That is what this piece is doing. It's showing me where to go. That is super important. A lot of people never figure that out. I might do more tutorials on this. I'm not sure. The one I really want to do a tutorial on because it's aggravating is Capanacha, which is a bot tester. It checks if you're a bot in annoying ways, and it never tutorializes how to get through him, and it's very bad. Now, he is going to teach you about range spells. This is very important in the game. It's very basic, and the tutorialization is a little annoying, but I'll go on it. Basically, you can't move on these center blocks, so you have to figure out where you can attack this man from. So let's enter combat. Once I'm in combat, this is where things are a little real. Okay, you can see... Well, I have to position myself first. Just click space to do it. Here's my range spell. I can't hit him. How this spell works, you can hit enemies horizontally to you, so 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and 1, 2, 2 in any direction. He is 3 in that direction, so I can't hit him. So what I have to do, run up here, run up here, and now I can hit him. Done. And it's a cheap move, so I have to do it twice. A little silly that they did that, but oh well, that is that tutorial done. Let's go into the next area, try and make this fast. There's only two more areas, I believe, maybe three, I have to cover. I'm not going to do the dungeon here because it's not even a tutorial, it's just a dungeon. And it's simple, it uses all of this information. So going on to here, let's try and get this done fast. Once again, I don't want this to be long. During a fight, that element you use will influence your damages, blah blah blah. He's basically teaching you that enemies that you fight have different elemental weaknesses. If you go into combat, you'll be able to look at them actually. I don't know if you can look at them outside of battle, but who cares? I right clicked them, and I brought up this. You can see he's 100% resistant to water, earth, and fire. So I can only hurt him with my air spells. And he still has a little bit of resistance there, but it's typical. So let's go a little close. Two blocks away for my ranged spell to work. He's basically forcing me to use my pure ranged ability in combat. Now, something I didn't cover, I will cover now. I regret not covering it. These points down here. This is how much you can move each turn. I have two left, so I can move two tiles. I could use more if he locked me in, which means if he used his lock ability, moving away from him would have probably cost two. These are my action points. They are used on moves. This move costs four, this move costs two, and this move costs three. Very, very basic. Once again, this is something I can't think of right now. That's kind of bad. I don't think I've ever used this. I'm going to point that out. I've never used that and I'm like a level 20 something on my other accounts. <laughs> so pretend they don't matter. That is my way out. I have to think outside of the box a little. If I think out of the box I mean run until he lines up with this move again to kill him. A little bit of an annoying way to do this. Don't know why I didn't do it all three times. But let's attack him. Okay, done. Now, I think I'm actually going to cut this here and tell you what's in the next part because the next part takes like 10 minutes because it's badly done. In the next part, this is the healing. No, it's a butt kicking. Well, I think they're all butt kicking. No, this is elemental. That is healing. Okay, I'll do the butt kicking. Butt kicking sounds fun. What this tutorializes is that enemies can be hurt more from behind and the sides. The sides kind of count as the back. Don't ask questions, they do. 
The next part that happens though is, well, obviously I'll just position myself, but it's going to put me back there anyway. It does that in all games, sad to say. Now, what it does in the next area is teaches you how to heal. It's kind of unimportant. But, uh, basically, you get given a slime and only the slime can damage the enemy and you have to heal the slime for the long ass battle. The battle should have been shorter. It just takes forever. That's why I'm not doing that part. I'm sure you can figure it out. It gives you an, a move down here. You click on it. You click on the slime. The slime is healed. The slime can almost finish the fight on his own. Don't worry about it. That's the healing area. The support dojo. What is the next one? The Garden of Rest. That is where you kill an enemy with an axe. That does not need tutorialization. It's a basic fight. So, thank you very much for watching this. There will be more videos on my channel soon. If you like this content, please do give it a like and subscribe. Later.